What's up, everybody? It's day 267. I think I said 267 yesterday, but it was actually 266. Today is 267. And we're going to talk about the rising home prices in the United States right now. You might be asking yourself, like, what's going on with the prices? Is it is it going to crash? Like, what's going to happen? Are they at all-time high? Are they, are they going to rise more? The answer is we don't know. Like, we don't have a crystal ball that's going to tell us what's going on with the market in a year from now or two years from now. But we can tell you right now is that the housing market is at all-time high nationwide. It's not just Fairhope. It's just not Daphne. It's nationwide. There's probably only a couple cities in America that have some falling prices, maybe about two or three having falling prices, but the rest are all going up and they're going crazy. So the immediate reality, basically the, the, the crazy rise in home prices isn't isn't going to slow down. It's not going to slow down anytime soon. It's just going to keep going. There's only a few things that's going to make it slow down. We can talk about that here in a little bit. The nation, the national median home price is three hundred and seventy thousand dollars in March, and that's an all time new record, all time like past two thousand six. So if you bought your home in two thousand six and you finally want to make some money, you might want to sell it now or next year or but basically now right now you could probably make about about 10 percent on your investment from 2006 it's not a great investment by all means but you can make some money on it finally you will not be up you won't be upside down or take a loss on that so about 2006 2007 even like 2005 so we're, we're past that bubble that bubble is soared past that thing uh, that's a 15.6% increase from last year, uh, from last year in March. And we had some, we had a little bit of struggles back then, but that's when COVID hit, like right in the middle. So nothing, it was still pre-pandemic at that point. Um, the, the results of the, the inventory, basically the results of the pricing is the inventory crisis where the inventory just shot down. I think here in Fairhope, I think I put it on my newsletter today that it was 56% 65%, 56 or 65% less inventory on the market than there was last year. And the days on the market is like 49 or something. But basically, right now, the national average of days on the market is 54 days on the market. And if you got a, a very desirable house priced right, it's probably going to go within like three or four days, maybe maybe a week if, if you're pushing it. Um, but the inventory shrinkage is going to be from first-time home buyers. And then also people that want to trade up on their home. A lot of people see the price where they could make $100,000. Like we could buy the next house a little bit bigger. Let's go look for that. And the problem is you have to know what you're looking for and you have to be ready to go for it and just put in the offer or find a real estate agent that's finding off market properties and go talk to him and talk with that person and see if they can get you in there to look at before anybody else looks at it and make that offer. Um, a lot of people have been kept up in apartments and they're, tired of being around people that are so close, especially with the pandemic going on. And they're trying to get out and get into more space because they want some outdoor space. They want to be able to invite some friends over and not have to sit inside and, or wear masks or things like that, depending on what, what part of the country you live in. But the fact is that they want outdoor space. They want a pool. They want outdoor kitchens and things like that. They don't want to sit inside the apartment anymore. They're going out. So that can create, create an influx of buyers that we weren't ready for. Um, and then people are just holding on to their houses, not knowing what's going to happen after this pandemic, what's going to happen with the economy in the next year, things like that. So there is going to be a pent up demand for people that want to sell. We just don't know when, like we estimated it was going to start now. Um, I mean, in March of this year, we actually sold more houses than we did in February. So that's a good thing, but they're just not sitting on the market. They're selling, but they're not sitting on the market. So Basically, um, there's half as many homes on the market as there was last year at this time. And that's 52% decline year over year. So that means there's 117,000 houses that are not on the market that were last year compared relative to that time nationwide. That's a lot of houses that are not on that we could use on the market to bring the supply and demand back down to back to even where it needs to be. And also... There's a study from NAR, National Association of Realtors, saying that there's less homes on the market than there is registered realtors. That is crazy to think about. So, I mean, if you think about it, let's just say 
if you put 117,000 more houses on the market, then every realtor could sell one house. You know, not so bad. But now everybody, realtors are fighting for this, fighting even harder to get listings and, to, and they're fighting even harder to get their buyers to be able to buy a house. So it's getting, getting to be a tough, tough world out there. Crazy, crazy times. Um, like I said, 54 days on the market. Um, the slow, the only thing that's really going to slow down the prices is if somehow the autonomy, the, another COVID happens, the uh, economy tanks, the interest rates go up, and um, also just all the sellers flood the market and say, we want to sell our houses now. That will change. The, the pricing will go down. Um, it's not going to go up because the demand is is there for it. It probably would just more level out. wouldn't really like go down. The demand would probably like stay here and the, the supply would go back, go up a little bit, you know. So basically I would say it would even out for a little bit and then maybe switch back into like a buyer's market. But it would take like a couple years for that to actually happen. But that's all I got for today on that. Let me read something else to you. There will be down. This is always good for anybody that out there that's listening. There's always going to be down days. You, you, you struggle, and that's okay. Realize everyone goes through this, and not quitting is what separates the winners from the losers. So don't take the easy way out. Don't stop. Don't give up. Never quit. Instead, believe in yourself. Like n just keep going. The times are tough. Life is hard. As long as you make it out on top if you fall on your back you can always look up you can get up like keep moving keep going doesn't matter what's happening just keep going the struggle is real but we can get over it by changing our mindset and changing the way we think about things anyways go out there and make somebody smile today and tomorrow and have a wonderful day Whoa.